thank you for joining us on Golden Age Technology. On today's show, we are going to introduce a remarkable scientist and inventor, Professor John Roy Robert Searle. Inspiring, genius, visionary, these are just a few of the terms one might use to describe the inventor of the Searle Effect Generator, or SEG. Professor Searle, whose incredible contributions to the advancement of energy technology have remained largely unknown to the world until now, may very well be recognized and thanked in the future for revolutionizing all forms of travel and solving the Earth's energy needs. Professor Searle was born on May 2, 1932 in Wantage, England. It was at the age of four and a half that John Searle began to have unusual dreams, which occurred in pairs. The dreams came twice a year, for six years, and passed on detailed instructions for building an energy generator to the receptive young mind. Having realized the message behind these nighttime tutorials, John Searle began to put his dream into reality by producing his first SEG at age 14. The SEG is a free energy generator. It consists of three concentric rings, each composed of four different materials, also concentrically attached to each other. The three rings are fixed to a base. Surrounding each of the rings, and free to rotate around them, are rollers, typically 12 on the first ring, 22 on the next, and 32 on the outer ring. Surrounding the outer rollers are coils, which are connected in various configurations to supply either AC or DC current. After making the first SEG, young Professor Searle set it in motion in the presence of an older Welsh friend. At that point, the generators, plates and rollers quickly began accelerating, eventually reaching a point where the unit proceeded to fly up through the ceiling. The flight of the SEG was entirely unexpected and fueled the friend's enthusiasm for John Searle's work. He then sponsored Professor Searle to make more of the devices. Professor Searle then began experimenting with the machine's flying abilities. In the next phase of his work, with the units firmly fixed to the floor, he set about channeling the energy from the SEG into usable power, which he later used to supply his own home with electricity. As far back as 1965, Professor Searle designed and flew his levity disks, or inverse gravity vehicles, IGVs, which incorporated his SEG technology. Anything that runs electrically can be driven by an SEG with no resulting pollution and requiring no fuel. If his marvellous technology is perfected and adopted by all, Professor Searle's gift to the world would mean cleaner skies and waterways, the abundant regrowth of nature and improved health as the toxic emissions from current energy sources would end. Other benefits would include faster, more efficient air travel, safer and more accessible space travel and affordable, clean, sustainable energy for all citizens of the world. Professor Searle also said there are health benefits to SEG devices. He once came into contact with some very hot oil. He said that having the SEG in his home sped up the healing process of the burn much faster than usual. Within 14 days, there was no mark left from his injury. Professor Searle attributed the SEG's healing property to the nature of its operation, which changes the surrounding negative atmosphere in a place to a positive one. Professor Searle also had a close friend who was told by doctors he did not have much time to live. Professor Searle gave him an extra SEG he had, and within four weeks the friend had made a remarkable turnaround in health. After these brief messages, we'll return with more about Professor John Searle and his work. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. You're watching Golden Age Technology.
Billions have been spent on cancer research. Now doctors have a way to help prevent cancer without a prescription. Fruits, vegetables, and other high-fiber vegetarian foods can help prevent cancer and improve survival. Call 866-906-WELL. This is Golden Age Technology, and today's edition is about the works of Professor John Searle. Professor Searle's company, New Space Technology Company Limited, is developing a new SEG device. Given that SEGs are currently not in production, and the machines are still in the testing phase, the SEG has been projected by Professor Searle to cost approximately 32,000 US dollars. However, this is the only investment involved. To actually operate the machine, there are no further associated costs. Also, when put into mass production, Professor Searle projects the price per unit would drop to about 1,000 US dollars due to the economies of scale involved. What are the future possibilities of the Levity Disc or the IGV? In a 2007 internet radio interview on the program Free Energy Now with host Sterling D. Allen, Professor Searle stated that once the SEGs are in production and his company is earning money, he would be willing to put his efforts into creating an IGV that could reach the moon. Based on his calculations, an IGV could reach the moon in about an hour. He also estimated that an IGV could reach Mars in about two months' time. During a retreat with our association members in Austria in February 2008, Supreme Master Ching Hai was informed of Professor Saul's work and the challenges he faced. She immediately expressed her love and concern for his dedicated endeavors and sent a 7,000 US dollar contribution along with her well wishes. Professor Searle responded with his sincere thanks, stating that Supreme Master Ching Hai's efforts were much appreciated and she is indeed a wonderful lady. Currently, John Searle has his headquarters in Thailand where steady progress is being made on perfecting the SEG. Although neither the SEG nor the IGV is yet ready for public release, he says, I'm working on a project to create a better world for all humankind regardless. A video on his life and the SEG, entitled The John Searle Story, a documentary of the life of John Searle, is currently being prepared by filmmakers. We'd like to close with a selected portion of a message that Professor Searle has posted on his website which is meant for all visitors to read. The passage demonstrates his caring for our planet and its future. There is much that each and every one of us can do to help. Recycle all that can be done. Do not throw our rubbish on the ground or in rivers or the sea. Replant trees. Open up rivers. Make them deeper to carry more water instead of land being flooded. Do not expect that the SEG will solve all the world problems, because it will not. But what it can do is to assist the recovery of the planet's health by producing cleaner power and thereby improve the quality of our atmosphere, so all will benefit. Thank you, Professor Sill for your advanced ideas and for your deep caring of our cherished planet. May your efforts be further blessed with divine grace for the benefit of all. To our loyal viewers, thank you for watching today's Golden Age Technology. Coming up next is Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, here on Supreme Master Television. We'll see you again.